So the NCL has got four parts. The first part is to rewild this beautiful piece of land in Scotland, which is to restore the native ecosystems, bring species back and allow communities to engage and access the natural environment. Then alongside this rewilding project, we've set up an outdoor laboratory, which is bringing together scientists and technicians and people across loads of different disciplines to basically research and explore new ways and new technologies for better understanding and modeling and measuring the natural environment. So looking how we can go beyond what we would typically do, which is sort of doing technical reports and spreadsheets and looking at how we can use things like virtual reality, media and digital platforms to sort of better engage with um, stakeholders and clients and the wider public about what we're doing. The project ecologists wanted to imagine how the place would both look and sound 100 years into the future and following the rewarding programme. They wanted to be able to easily communicate their rewilding plans in an engaging way. We worked with the team to identify species and habitats in the highlands that would represent our site in the future. We undertook a baseline sound environment survey to document how the Natural Capital Laboratory looks and sounds now in detail and in each distinctive area. We gathered sound recordings from the representative habitats that we identified with ecology. Visual and virtual reality specialists focused on building an interactive Roam Anywhere experience and built the future sound environment layer by layer. We did this with dynamic 360 degree listening in mind to complement the visual virtual reality experience on the headset. Each sound element was directionally encoded to be agnostic of the user's listening location and viewing direction. Using real-time binaural sound synthesis techniques, we are able to update the sound at the user's ears in sympathy with the direction they are looking in. The tool allows the user to switch between what the site looks and sounds like now and what it looks and sounds like once rewilded the user can roam and look around freely. The tool is intended to help design teams, planners and stakeholders plan a more sustainable future. We really see tools like this as key to designing better environments and promoting constructive conversation around change. So I think looking forward, we're facing a huge global challenge. We're going to need to manage land differently on a huge scale. Um, we're going to need to look at the land across the UK and across globally, what our impacts are and how we can manage it differently. I think the key thing that um, we want to get across is that restoring natural habitats can provide a really important contribution to tackling climate and biodiversity crises and also can be done in a way which provides economic benefits to the organisations involved and the local communities around them. It doesn't have to just be sort of separate nature in the corner. It can be part of business and it can be part of economic decision making. And increasingly, it has to be if we're going to actually tackle some of these problems.